Good day to you my fellow endoskeletons, I'm Kenator and welcome back for another Starbase Progress Report. We're on week 30 of 2021 and if you're new here I bring you the latest news and updates of everything Starbase every Monday. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss out. Plus it really helps out the channel. Now let's get to it. So many of you are new to my channel as my subscriber count has jumped by a thousand since the launch of Starbase. Welcome to Starbase and the community. I'm very happy to have you here. And also a huge thanks to my new YouTube members and DonorBox subscribers. Links below if you want to join that too. This week we have no progress report from the devs since they are busy smashing those bugs in the face with a pickaxe. But I still have some Larry quotes for you and some tips and ways to get around some of those bugs. What a week it's been so far for the launch of Starbase, finally being out. As expected, it's been both amazing and a little bit troublesome. Early access games always come with bugs and boy do we have some big ones to deal with. More on that in a bit though. But I'm very happy to see the game handling everything so well, considering how bad it could have been. The game is handling great and better than expected. And I want to let everyone know from my closed alpha experience, the devs will have these major bugs sorted out pretty quickly. And we've already seen a big improvement in the crash rates and the performance of the game. And a lot of these crashes are coming directly from the Steam client too, not just the game. One of the first issues was the overloading of Origin Station 1. Larry said that everyone seems to have started there, which has caused issues. But they prevented more people from joining that station, and eventually it smoothed out the performance. But they are sorry for the issues so far. Larry jokes he's already terrified of the issues. Another big issue that was sorted out at the start was asteroids not spawning nuggets when mined, but the fix came pretty quickly with a short server maintenance. If you don't know, there is a known issues channel on the official Discord, with updates and workarounds for certain issues. As mentioned earlier, there has been an issue with the Steam client causing problems for the game and leading to crashes. And while we wait for Steam to put out a fix for this, there are some changes you can do to help. Disabling the Steam overlay while in game, turn off Steam networking, and run the game as an administrator if you can. Steam's fix to the client will come to its beta branch first before the main branch, so it's also recommended that you switch to that too. Another big bug affecting players has been ships acting weird, thrusters not working, and leading in some cases to not being able to fly at all. I've had a few hundred people flood my DMs with issues asking for help on this exact problem. This has been a bug from the easy build hall that can affect ships during host switching too. This bug is actually renaming all thrusters to a set of default thruster names. This is a known issue for the devs and they have been working hard to build a fix for it. But fear not my fellow endoskeletons, this bug is totally fixable. And you will learn a little bit more about how to play too, and I'll use my ship shop's Komatsu here as an example. So let's begin a mini tutorial. So first thing you need to do is head over to the main flight computer. It's a blue and black box. For this ship, it's just right here. Next, press the U button to open your Universal Tool and switch to the Data tab. You might need to reopen the Universal Tool if you weren't already on the Data tab. You will find a list of names here and some numbers. Ignore the numbers on the right hand side, it's the names that we want. Some ships will have complicated or coded short names. Make a quick note of these different names as we will need these in a bit. You can also copy and paste these names in game too. Next, we need to apply these names to the thrusters. Once again, you can use the universal tool on the main body of the thruster, and you can see the name here. This is the default one, and all you have to do is click in the field and paste in the new name. On this ship, it only has three names for thrusters, man thrust for maneuver thrusters, tri thrust for triangle thrusters, and box thrust for box thrusters. The important thing for most thrusters is that they all have a unique name and this is where the numbers in the name come from. So as you go around renaming thrusters, you will find that some of these thrusters are grouped together in pairs, or maybe more on some other ships. It's common practice to give these thrusters the same name, and I do that on this ship too. So any thruster touching another has the same name. This is also a must do for any triangle thrusters. Triangle thrusters touching like this share a hard point and thruster data. These must be named the same to work correctly. And the main reason why there is only four tri-thrust names in the main flight computer for all eight triangle thrusters. It's one name for each pair. With all thrusters matching the names in the flight computer, this ship will now fly correctly again. This method is the same for any ship that you're flying, but the bigger the ship, the more you will find groups of thrusters, and the harder they will be to reset since you won't know the original groups. 
but the devs already have a fix for this and as of recording they have just launched the hotfix. So if you still have a bugged ship, try and follow this example, it will apply to other ships as well, but it won't happen again from here on out fingers crossed. The easy build haul is one of the newest features that is sadly facing a lot of issues. One of which can bug out your initial labourer starting ship. So if something has gone wrong with this ship for you, you can claim up to 10 labourers from the tutorial. Just hit escape and go to settings, then tutorial, then select the repair job. This will skip you straight to the repair job and you can quickly fill it out in about 10 seconds and reward yourself with a brand new ship so you can just carry on playing. Can we also just take a minute to just talk about this? Larry has said multiple times the tech tree is intended to guide players and not be a grind. And oh boy was that a big fat lie. Like holy crap guys, even with the day one or two reduction in research costs, the sheer amount of points you need to clear the trees are insane. Now I want to point out that I think this is completely fine for a game like this in an MMO setting where we're all going to be playing for months if not years, completely fine. What we have is what I was expecting to have. Had we not been told multiple times that it wouldn't be. I only have beef with being misled and I know a lot of other people were annoyed about this too. So come on Frozen Bite, let's work on some of that communication. Larry was recently asked when we can expect ships to be added to your company. Larry replies that while it hasn't been included in the roadmap, they will see if they can squeeze it in this year. This is great news for companies with exclusive ships that they don't want to hand out the blueprints for. Now if you're running into any issues in Starbase, it's always advised that you can hit the F1 key to report these bugs. In a lot of cases, if you have lost a ship or this bug has cost you money in any way, the devs can refund this to you as well. And even general feedback on the game can be sent via the F1 as well. Please remember to be polite and give as much feedback as you can on what led up to the bug in question to help the devs track down and fix them faster. I've also got a quick tip for you guys selling items and ore to the station. Just head to the market and you will find these three boards. You have the middle one that you can sell equipment from your person or from your station inventory and the left and right boards are for ore and match those found at the ore towers. Both of these have search bars and sell all buttons but be warned the sell all button for the ore terminal will sell every ore you have and not just what you have searched for. The equipment and items terminal however does work correctly only selling what you have searched for. I'll finish up this week with a thanks to all the devs that have worked hard through the launch weekend to provide us with all these hot fixes and updates to the game as well as providing much needed player support. The devs have had over 10,000 support tickets to deal with already and deal with everyone. Now there's no feature video this week but if you do have any cool contraptions or amazing ships to show then be sure to send any clips and recordings my way for a chance to be featured on the channel. Feel free to contact me via discord or come jump on my discord server which is also home to my faction the Kboss. should you be looking for one to join. As always please smash that like button, share this video with your friends and faction, leave a comment with any questions you want answers to and I'll see you in the next one. Kenator, out.